Hello everyone, we are finishing up Shark Week and we hope you've enjoyed the activities that we brought around and the different things we've had to share with you. We have one final activity and it is a clothespin shark project. When you pinch the clothespins, there's a little surprise in there. So I'm going to show you how to make this and where you'll be getting a paper that looks like this and you've got three different sets of sharks on here. So the first thing I'm going to do for mine is I'm going to cut out, I only need one set, so I'm gonna cut this out like this and move that over. And now your shark is going to be a darker color on the top and a lighter color on the bottom. I made this one kind of a bluish gray. This one I'm going to just use gray. And I'm using a marker because I don't have crayons right now, but you could use crayon, you could use watercolor, or you could use a marker or colored pencil, always my favorite. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just color the top part of this with this. Kind of, actually, it looks like it's kind of a greenish gray a little bit. I'm going to color this top half. And you can even go out of the lines a little bit because you are going to be cutting it out. So I'm going to color my top half and I'm going to color the bottom fin. On the other one, I didn't do that, but I think you can do kind of whatever you want here. So here is my shark and oopsie daisy, I see I need a crack. Um, Rachel, will you hand me the markers, please? I forgot to get a color for my fish. Thank you. All right. I'm going to grab one out of here. Oh, this looks great right here. It's kind of a brownish, orangish gold. So I've got to add some color to him. And there we go. So it's that easy, my coloring. Now I'm going to cut. I'm going to just cut out my shark. And... Then, after I get the outside, cut, cut around all the outside, you are going to see here. Here we go. All right. So, I have this ready. Okay. Now, what I have to do is I've got to cut the whole thing in half right along this dark line right down the middle here okay so this looks like this now because this will be my shark that will open and close that i'll be gluing onto my clothes pin and you'll have a clothes pin that looks like this in your um in your bag so i'm going to cut out this little tiny fish and do you know what the fish let me show you how that's going to look the fish is going to be on a little piece of paper, a strip of paper glued to the bottom. I think what I'm going to do is just cut that piece of paper out along with my fish. So I'm going to do it like this. Otherwise, you can just cut one and glue it or tape it on. But I'm just going to make that right now while I'm doing it. I might actually draw that on your pattern. I think it might be easier for you if that is already there. So here's the fish. This is a little small so it might be, you might need help with the cutting part of this. But, all right, so here I have my fish now and I've just made that little part that I'm going to glue on. So I've got my clothespin, I've got my glue, and now I'm going to get my clothespin ready. And you can see from how the back, how that's going to look. And I'm just going to put glue on the front part of the clothespin. If, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Jeez. Okay, oh, okay, here it comes. All right, so I'm gonna put it on here, put it on here, a little bit back here. So you can see how much glue I have on here. I'm going to put my top half up here. Okay. And I'm actually going to kind of make this I'm going to need enough room to be able to pinch this. I think I need a little more glue in the back here. I'm going to peel that off before it gets too wet. 
and follow my glue back here a little bit more right back into here all right set this back on again put my glue on here so the glue is only going to be the top half will be on the top half of your clothes pin like this and of course the bottom half will come underneath you're going to be able to match it up by matching up these gill slits on on the other side so i'm just going to carefully kind of press this with my finger okay so there is my shark Oop, that's got to come down here a little bit lower let's see if you've got it on here right while your glue's still wet you can kind of move things around a little bit it should be like this otherwise push it back a little bit all right okay now we want to attach our little fish inside here so i need another small drop of glue put it here like this how much did i make that stick up just a little bit i might actually even i think i'll pull this ahead a little bit more so i have room for his mouth to open wider all right okay yep all right got my fish here so i think you can kind of see how from the back i just went ahead and glued that on from the inside so that when i open the mouth there it is it looks like he's found something to eat okay oopsie daisy if your paper sticks down a little too far, that's all right. When this dries, you can just cut that off. I could probably do it right now. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Okay. We are this far, and the last thing we're going to add is the eye, and you should have an eye in the bag. So I'm gonna go in your bag of materials, in your tub. I'm gonna put a tiny, small drop of glue. Sometimes I get too much and just pick this up and set it on with my finger all right so you've got your sharks here i think you'll enjoy i hope you'll enjoy making them and hope you had fun during shark week okay <laughs>